Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to create a stack chart, whether it be a stack column chart or a stack bar chart, as you can see here. These can provide a nice uh, glimpse about how a particular item compares to a whole. So with stack column charts, you can just think of it as a vertical pie chart, if you really want to see it that way. But this kind of shows uh, in Q1, what were all these, the, let's say these were all sales of units of items. Um, in Q1, you can compare how the uh, the north did with the south and east and west. Uh, this is a stacked column chart here. This is a stacked column chart uh, in percentage. So basically, when we look at the stacked column chart here, uh, well, I'll go into the design part, but basically this is a 100% stacked column chart. The one previously uh, is just a regular stack column chart. Let me cancel this because I think I just selected it. And you can do the same with um, bar charts. So bar charts, this is a stacked bar chart. You can also do the same with a 100% stacked bar chart. So I'll go ahead and show you how these are created. So this is our table that we're going to use. I already copied it over here to the next sheet. And what you can do is you can just select any cell in here. Uh, these are all uh, contiguous cells, so there's no missing rows or empty rows or empty cells. So what I can do is just press Alt F1. That's a keyboard shortcut that creates a default uh, graph. And so whatever the default graph uh, is in Excel, it will just put that one there. So it's just, just a nice keyboard shortcut, or I can delete that, you can, or you can just select it and go into Insert and Insert Column. Um, the uh, stack column chart. And here's a little description. Uh, and here's a little description here if it stays on a little bit longer. But you can go into there. Let's say I just wanted to go ahead and create a, slack st a stack column chart. I can just click on that. And uh, instead of pressing the keyboard shortcut, this will give me a stack column chart because the other one will just give me a regular uh, bar chart. Let me go ahead and resize this a little bit. And uh, Oh, just a little thing here. This is a total. Let me go ahead and delete. Let me go ahead and delete this first, and you'll see how this comes into play later on. Uh, see, for example, I've got a total here, but this basically is a total of all the regional um, item counts. So we'll see how I'll show you how to create that later on. But basically, we want to get the north, south, west, and east counts here. Go back into our sheet here. I don't like grid lines, so I'll go go ahead and remove these grid lines. Just select that and see it's selected and press delete. Now this is our stack column chart already here, and you, as you can see here, it's um, we see that we have Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So these are the uh, categories that's under. Um, Excel kind of decides that for you, but you can go ahead and change that. What you can do is when you select a chart, go under design and data switch row and column it'll bring up a it'll go ahead and switch it for you or if you kinda wanna see it you can go select data this also lets you do a little more fine tuning with uh, editing the entries for both the the series and the category but you can also switch the columns here as, as you can see how it worked there so go ahead and switch it back to uh, switch it to Q1 to the quarters and we have our um, stacked column chart here. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we wanted to see like what are the totals. So we have we have uh, let's see the series for Q1, but we want to see what the total of all these series are. What we can do is we can add a little total uh, series here. And what I like to do is do a little shortcut here, select this and just go and select and all these uh, columns, all these cells here press alt and then the equal sign and what it's going to do it's going to sum up all the quarters here so you can see here this is the sum of b2 to b5 c2 c5 d2 t5 and e2 e5 and so what i can do is i can actually select this now press control c to copy and go into the chart itself and press control v and it's going to copy the values in there so it's kind of a neat little trick there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select just this total um, series data, right click it, and I'm going to change the series type. I'm going to change it to a line series type, and you'll see why later on. 
So let's change the line with markers. Uh, click OK. And we see we have our markers here. And then go ahead and select the line itself. Right click it. Go under the add the data labels. And these are my totals right now. And so once I add, have these totals here, I'm just going to fine tune them now. I'll right click it, select them. See they're all selected. And I do my format data series. So once I do the format data series, So now this format data series dialog box, um, we're going to actually change the markers. We want to uh, have the line not show up. So we're going to have this marker as none. We'll have the marker fill as no fill. We'll have the line color as no line color. So basically it's disappeared. And with that disappeared, let's move the data labels above the column. So what we're going to do is when we select the data labels, you can see here that now the the dialog box has changed the format data labels dialog box, which is kind of nice. You can select different parts of the graph and the dialog box will change. So what we want to do is we want to put the data labels above the column. Oops. Above the column. There you go. And click click close. And then there is our totals up there. And as you can see from the previous sheet, you know, they had this nice little shadow effect, and that's what's nice about Excel 2007 is you can do that. Once I select the the chart, I can go under, uh, oops, format, or maybe it was design. Yeah, under design, we have our chart styles, and there's some of the uh, chart styles here are very nice. I just selected the this style 26. They should give it nice, better names, but style 26 basically gives you that nice little uh, shadow format and then there are data labels here too so basically it's just going into each one of these uh, series and adding a data label uh, and then you just go ahead and do a right click and select it you see it's selected add data label and right click uh, add data label select that right click and add a data label so that's that's for the stack column if I wanted to create a a um, 100% stack column. Uh, basically, what I can do, I don't, need, I don't need to go through that whole thing again. I can just select this and just press Control D, and it would make a duplicate of that chart. See, now I have a duplicate of this chart, and I can basically just go ahead and I don't need the uh, total rows because for a 100% stacked column chart, it's going to show it a little bit differently. So I'm going to go ahead and um, remove the totals. I can remove it here or I can go up to the select data and just remove that total and go ahead and remove that. And so now it's all just got just got the east, west, north and south and go under the change chart type and make it a 100% stack column. And now we can see that I still have my data labels here but it's all 100%. So, it, so as I mentioned before basically the stack column chart when you really think about it it's it's kind of like a vertical pie chart it shows you how the items compare against each other now we can also turn this into a bar chart right now it's a column chart up and down but we can turn this also into a bar chart and the same thing I can do is once I have this selected you can see it's selected just press control D to duplicate this chart bring it over to the side here let's bring it over to the bring it over to the side here and let's scroll a little bit. And I can change the chart type to a bar. Bar chart, the stack bar chart is probably better, a better view than the 100% stack bar chart. So I click OK and uh, basically bring that out a little bit. And you can see that we have our uh, bar chart. And this is also kind of nice to have the, the totals so I can bring that in too. So what I can do is I can copy this total. Again, select that, control C to copy, select my chart, control V to paste, and you can see it's pasted in there. And now this one's a little bit different by we don't need to turn this into a line chart. Basically what we can do is we can add the data labels. As you can see here, we have our we have our totals here. But what we can do is we don't need to turn this into a line chart. We just need to add the data labels. And whoops, that I only selected one. Let me control Z. 
I want to select all these. So you see now they're all selected. Right click, add data label. Let's go ahead and right click again and we want to format the data labels. We want to have the data labels on the, I believe this is the inside base. Yes. And then we, so with this, we don't really need to have this particular series um, viewable. So what we can do is we can just get rid of the fill, have no fill and no border line color. Click close and let's deselect that chart. And now we've got uh, the totals here. What I like to do is just make that bold so we know that this is the total and select that legend and select it and select it again and just make that bold. And with the bar chart it's probably a little better that uh, either we reduce the font sizes of the text or we can increase this graph so the numbers here would show a little bit better. It's probably better that we actually decrease the font sizes. Let's make that 8. And we can make this 8. Same here. And then select that. Make that 8. So now we have our nice little uh, stacked bar chart and our column charts. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching.